Hello crafty friends, it's Erica, Scrapdiva29. Welcome back to my channel. I am coming on today with a project share. Um, if you remember, uh, a few weeks ago, I shared an Amazon haul where I had purchased this silicone alphabet mat, and I had also purchased um, the resin uh, to create um, resin letters. I was totally enabled by Damask Love on Instagram. She had shared a post a few weeks ago showing how easy it was to make these letters and I wanted to give it a try. It just looked super cute and I had some ideas, um, but it did take me a little bit of while. I was actually kind of nervous about playing with resin. I wasn't really, you know, too sure about it, but it's actually really simple. And now I think I wanna create a lot more resin pieces and do different things with it. But um, it's so super easy and all you need is, like I said, you need a resin hardener and you need the resin. I did purchase this off of Joann's. Um, uh, I'm not sure if you, I don't think you can get it on Amazon. I'm not really sure. Um, I did get some different resin because this one is almost gone. As you can see, I used quite a bit. Um, I did purchase um, this one off of Amazon and I'm gonna give this one a try. I haven't used it yet. I do have um, some other molds that I wanna try, so I'm gonna use this and I'll let you guys know um, what the results are and if I like it. But um, to be honest, um, I actually really did um, like this particular resin. I didn't have any issues with it. I know some people have issues with like bubbles or something like that. Um, this was my first resin experience and I didn't have any bubble issues, but I have read um, just like watching tutorials and videos on resin that it could be an issue and there's like things that you can do to prevent bubbles and such but I didn't have any issues but I'm going to show you the letters that I made um, I used let me just show you my little I put all my little resin stuff in this little box so I picked up a ton of the different colors of um, that you can turn change the, the resin color from clear to um, a color. So I had picked all of these little different colors up from Joann's and I got uh, several different colors as you can see. Um, there's this pink one and then I also got this opaque and um, I just had fun playing with some of the colors. Some of them I did clear. I had also purchased some of the glitters but I mean you can use whatever glitter or little sequin mixes that you have on hand in your stash. It's not really necessary to purchase additional glitters um, specifically for the resin because I tried a bunch of different sequins and just stuff I had on hand and it worked. Um, I did purchase these little cups from Dollar Tree. They're just the little Dollar Tree shot glasses. Um, and what I was doing was just like making my mix in these. Um, and then I did get the silicone measuring cup that you use to um, measure out the resin and then you would uh, you know pour it in your little cup so um, I did, did use that but let me just show you some of the ones that I created and they are just so so pretty as you can see I added some little stars in this mix I've got some little glitter flakes and some hearts look how pretty that is and I actually mixed two of the colors to get this particular color and I don't even remember what I did but it came out looking like this, which I thought was super, super pretty. So I did a combination of numbers and I did some letters. So look at the number three, that's a really pretty blue. And I just love the little sequence. Super, super pretty, right? So I used that and I also used some of the um, glitter that I picked up from Spellbinders on clearance and that one looked like this. Look how super pretty that turned out with just that little glitter that I picked up from Spellbinders, look how pretty that is and shiny, sparkly, super pretty. Again, I used the blue um, dye for these ones and again, using that glitter and then I mixed in some, some little flower sequins in that mix and it is just so cute. I love it, super, super pretty. So I made those and then I made some clear ones. Here are some of the clear ones that I made. Look how pretty that is. Oh my goodness, I used those holographic hearts. I used a little pink uh, heart mix, some little flowers. And then I had these little bows in my stash and I just used some glossy accents to glue the, the bow down and it's ready to go. It's so pretty. Isn't that gorgeous, you guys? 
And of course, I had to make an E for Erica. So here is my E. And what I did with this one was I dangled it on this little, um, little uh, bead, um, I can't think of the name of it, but I picked a ton of them up off of AliExpress. Um, and I attached one of my tassels, and this is just a bead from my stash. I just wrapped it and attached it with this, and now I have a cute little dangle. But look how pretty that is with that sequence. Super pretty. And I added the glitter, the sequence, and those little holographic hearts. They're just so pretty. And what I was thinking was, remember these little clear bags that I made? This would be so adorable to hang off of a bag just like that. Wouldn't that be adorable to gift somebody if you're doing a happy mail swap or even just a birthday gift? You could dangle this on the little purse and it's like the perfect size. I know it's kind of hard to see and this is like really shiny, but you guys get the idea. It's adorable. I love it. I want to make a ton more. Super, super cute. So you can personalize your happy mail or your birthday gifts that you want to give to your family members. Um, I just love this idea. So um, I made that one. Um, I have this M. I used that pink, um, uh, pink, uh, what is it called? Oh my goodness. This this uh, pink dye and it's the opaque dye in case you're wondering I use that one and then I added gold flakes of glitter or sequence and then I added even some of those if you can see those little round like candy pieces are some of those are in there isn't that so cool and then I used the little eye pins that I picked up off of Amazon and there is a tool that I purchased to um, screw the hole and then you're able to screw this in with the tool. Um, I will link the Amazon video that I posted with all the details if in case you are wondering, you can check it out. Um, I used my little chain that I had in my stash and I just attached some beads that I had wire wrapped. This is a bow that I picked up off of AliExpress. Along a few months ago, we were all making those adorable keychains. I had a ton of these in my stash. I purchased some on AliExpress and also Amazon. Um, so you could actually make keychains, you know, out of your little letters and gift them as gifts. So I love that idea right there. Super fun. Um, I'll just go through some more of the ones that I made so that you guys can see how pretty. That one I added a little pink bow. Super pretty, right? Here is the B. Look how pretty that is. I just love the way that that looks. Look at the glitter mix that I added in that one. Super, super cute. I just love it. It's so pretty. And then let me show you the purple. Here are some with purple, the O and a J. Look how pretty that one came out. That's just using silver and um, iridescent stars in this mix with the purple dye. Super, super pretty, love it. Let me show you the opaque. Here's a couple with the opaque. And again, I just use that little heart mix in that one. Look how pretty that is. And there's even like a little bit of glitter mixed in with it. So cute, I am obsessed. All right, let me show you a couple more. I think you guys get the idea, but um, look at that. I did an F with those gold stars. Look at the P. Love that one. I added a little bling to the bottom of the P, again, using glossy accents to adhere the little um, bling. And then I already attached the little key, keyhole um, screw on the top of this one so that I can turn it into a charm. Um, I told somebody I was going to give it, give it to them <laughs> on Instagram. So um, I just love the way that these turned out. They are so, so cute. Here is a few more of the ones that I made. As you can see, I added a ton of the sequence in that one. Those are the blue ones. Super, super pretty. There is a O. Oh, again, I just love the way that these turned out. So much fun. And then here is one more. I'll show you the L in that pretty pink. Super, super pretty. L for love. Lovely. You guys see how adorable this is. Okay, so I figured what I would do is just do a quick little demo because this is so easy, like seriously, super easy. So let me just clear this off to the side. All you need is a mat for your surface, like a nonstick mat. 
You're gonna need, obviously you're gonna need your mold. You're gonna need a little cup so that you can mix your resin, a popsicle stick or a stir stick. Um, obviously you're gonna need the resin. You're going to need the resin and hardener and then the resin. And all you do is do one part of each. It's not um, uh, very difficult at all to do. And then what I do is I just put the resin in um, this little cup right here and you do need a pair of gloves so you don't want to get any of the resin on your hands um, so i'm just going to stick these gloves on to protect my hands from the resin they do suggest gloves and they also suggest a mask um, i guess some of the uh, resin hardeners have um, a strong fume this particular resin hardener or resin did not have any odor like i didn't smell anything at all um, I didn't have any problems with that. So I'm gonna take this one right here, and all I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna take this off. It's just easier to pour out. I'm just going to measure one part of this resin. And I only have a little bit left, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use it. Since there's only a little bit in here, and I'm just gonna empty that in. And then I'm gonna show you what it looks like. I'm just trying to get as much as I can out. Okay, so as you can see, I have, I don't know if you can see, I have about, it's filled up to about right here. So now what I'm gonna do is add the same amount of resin hardener to this so that it equals out. So I'm going to add the same amount and it'll be equal parts. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this. And there's only a little bit left because as you guys see, I went resin crazy. But um, this was just so much fun, I was just going crazy making all of those letters and all those different colors all right i think that is good i'm just trying to make sure i got it all in there because i this is literally the last few little drops of this resin hardener um so i'm just going to close that up and what i'm going to do is just go ahead and mix this together you're going to mix it and combine both of the parts. And then what you wanna do is you wanna take your little plastic cup and you're going to choose a little mix of uh, glitter. So let's say I'm gonna take this little, uh, little flakes of glitter and I'm just going to empty them into the cup like that. I put a lot in there, but that's okay. And then what I'll do is, let's see, what else do I have that I can add? I'm gonna just add um, a few little bits of these sequins because these are pretty. It's like a little spring mix. We'll see how that turns out. So we have that and then um, do we want to add color? I think I'm just going to leave it like that. And I am going to add the resin to this. Just like that. And then I'm going to just take this and stir this around. That glitter is so pretty mixed in with the sequence. Super pretty. I think I'm gonna make a little bit more or add a little bit more. And I'm just gonna pour it into my mold and then you have to wait 24 hours for this to set and then you'll be able to pop it out and use, use it and it's ready to go. You can make the keychains or whatever your heart desires. Um, I plan on making a bunch of bows. I have some bow molds, so I'm gonna try that other resin and I'll let you guys know what I think about it. And let's see, 
I was going to do a J for somebody, so I'm gonna go ahead and pour this mix into the J. And this looks so pretty with that pink. Oh my gosh, look how pretty that looks. And you just fill it up to the top and that looks good. So there's that. Um, I'll do another L. And I will do, let's see, I think I'll do N. And that is literally it. That is, that is it. Those are the steps. And that is completely it. You let that sit overnight, 24 hours, and it's ready to go. And then you have your beautiful uh, resin piece that you can play with, decorate, gift, whatever your heart desires. And there's so many different molds that you can use and create with, so just have fun. I hope that this was um, helpful. Hope you guys give it a try. Check the description box below for the product information. If you have any questions, let me know. Thank you for stopping by my channel, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye for now.